Assalamu alaikum, brothers and sisters. Welcome to year six of the 17 Verses podcast. I'm your host, Maher Haq. In this podcast, we take a small selection from the Quran every day and recite it to you in plain English, so you can get a small slice of God's word while you go about your day. By averaging 17 verses per day, we're able to break the Quran down into manageable pieces and finish it in one year. If you enjoy the podcast, please help spread the word. Tell your friends and family, subscribe in iTunes or Stitcher or wherever you get your podcasts, and write us a review. Show notes and a text episode can be found at 17verses.com. That's the numbers 17-V-E-R-S-E-S dot com. Today's selection is from Surah 4, An-Nisa, or the women, verses 71 through 91. These verses advise the believers to keep together in the brotherhood of Islam, to share in its joys and sorrows. Strive and fight the good fight, and never fear, for this life is short, and the hereafter is eternal. It admonishes the believers to not allow themselves to be drawn into unbelief and cowardice. Protect yourselves against hypocrites and deceivers, but do not pursue them unrelentingly. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim In the name of Allah, most gracious, most merciful. O believers, prepare yourselves for encounter then advance in detachments or all together, as the occasion may require. There will be someone among you who will surely lag behind, so that if you face any calamity, he will say, Allah has been gracious to me that I did not accompany them. But if you are blessed with grace from Allah, he will say, as if there was no friendship between you and him, I wish I had been with them. I could have attained a mighty good fortune. Let it be known that only those who should fight in the cause of Allah who are willing to exchange the life of this world for the hereafter, and whoever fights for the cause of Allah, whether he dies or is victorious, will soon be granted a mighty reward. And what reason do you have not to fight in the cause of Allah, to rescue the helpless, oppressed men, women, and children who are crying, Our Lord, deliver us from this town whose people are oppressors, Raise for us a protector from you, and send for us a helper from you. Those who are believers fight in the cause of Allah, and those who are unbelievers fight in the cause of Taghut, or false deities or shaitan. So fight against the helpers of shaitan. Surely, shaitan's crafty schemes are very weak. Have you not seen those who were told to restrain their hands from fighting, establish prayers, and pay charity? Now, when at length they are commanded to fight, lo, a group of them fear people as they should have feared Allah, or even more than that, and say, Our Lord, why have you ordered us to fight? Could you delay its implementation for a while? Tell them, The enjoyment of this world is short. Life of the hereafter is much better for those who fear Allah, and rest assured that you will not be wronged equal to the fiber of a date stone. As for death, no matter where you may be, death is going to reach you even if you are fortified in towers. When such people are blessed with some benefit, they say, This is from Allah. But if they suffer a loss, they say, This is because of you. O Muhammad, peace be upon him, tell them, Everything is from Allah. What is the matter with these people that they do not understand a word? Whatever benefit comes to you, O people, it is by Allah's grace. And whatever loss you suffer, it is the result of your own doings. We have sent you, O Muhammad, peace be upon him, as a messenger to mankind. Allah is your all-sufficient witness. Anyone who obeys the messenger, in fact, obeys Allah. As for those who pay no heed, they should know that we have not sent you as a taskmaster over them. They will say, we are at your service. Yet when they leave you, some of them meet together secretly at night to plot against what you have said. Allah notes down all their plots. Therefore, leave them alone and put your trust in Allah. Allah is your all-sufficient trustee. Why don't they research the Qur'an? Don't they realize that if it was from someone other than Allah, they would find many discrepancies in it? Whenever they hear news of peace or of danger, they spread it quickly. But if they would report it to the messenger and to the responsible people among them, it would come to the knowledge of those who could draw the right conclusions. If it had not been for Allah's grace and mercy, all of you, with the exception of a few, would have followed shaitan. Therefore, O Muhammad, peace be upon him, fight in the path of Allah. You are accountable for no one except for yourself. Urge the believers to fight. 
It may be that Allah will overthrow the might of the unbelievers, for Allah is the strongest in might and severe in punishment. Anyone who intercedes for a good cause shall have a share in it, and anyone who intercedes for an evil cause shall also get a share in its burden. Allah has control over everything. When anyone greets you in a courteous manner, let your greetings be better than his, or at least return the same. Allah keeps account of everything. Allah, there is no God but He. He will certainly gather you all together on the day of resurrection. There is no doubt in it, and who can be more truthful in His words than God? What is the matter with you? Why are you divided into two groups concerning the hypocrites, while Allah has cast them back to disbelief on account of their misdeeds? Do you wish to guide those whom Allah has left astray? Whomever Allah has left astray, you cannot find a way for them to be guided. Their real wish is to see that you become a disbeliever, as they themselves have disbelieved, so that you may become equal to them. So you should not take friends from their ranks unless they immigrate in the way of Allah. And if they do not, seize them and kill them wherever you find them, and do not take any of them as protectors or helpers. The exception to this is for those who take refuge with your allies or come to you because their hearts restrain them from both fighting against you and from fighting against their own people. If Allah had wanted, he would have given them power over you and they might have easily fought against you. Therefore, if they withdraw from you and cease their hostility and offer you peace, in that case Allah has not granted you permission to fight against them. You will find other hypocrites who wish to be safe from you as well as from their own people. But who would plunge into mischief whenever they get an opportunity? Therefore, if they do not keep distance from you and neither offer you peace nor cease their hostilities against you, seize them and kill them wherever you find them. In their case, we gave you clear authority. Amin. This concludes today's episode of the 17 Verses Podcast. I hope that this selection helps increase your understanding of the Holy Quran just a little bit. If you like the podcast, you can subscribe in iTunes or Stitcher and write us a review. Or you can grab the RSS feed and put it into your own podcast app. The show notes, including the text version of this episode, can be found by going to 17verses.com. That's the numbers 17-V-E-R-S-E-S dot com. Thank you, and be well.